to troubleshoot uh, so we can show you how to find out how, what and where your problem is. Uh, if you don't feel confident about doing this or you can't complete it, please do not try this and call your local electrician. So we'll see you in two and two when we'll be back in a few. All right, so the issue is, is that when this guy pops, all of them stop working and he pops all the time. So. That one stops working, that one stops working, and so does that one. So obviously, they're all originating from this guy. This GFCI outlet is responsible for the whole, the whole circuit there. They're all in one breaker. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. We're gonna, we're gonna take this one apart and see what's wrong with it. It's, I'm hoping it's just wired wrong. All right, so the way that you test is you wanna put your multimeter on AC, that's the single wave line. This is DC. You don't want to do that because the uh, your your house your your uh, house electric is never in DC. It's always in AC. So 200 is our only option here. You just want to choose something that is in the range or above, preferably slightly above whatever your amperage is, or sorry, your voltage is that you're testing. This is 200 right here, 200 volts. Your house runs somewhere between 110 and 120, so we're good to go on that one. That's why that's the only option on that. One other important thing is you always hold these in one hand. Uh, just in case, you know, if there's an issue, uh, you don't want to connect the circuit between your two arms because your heart's in the middle. And, you know, you need that to live. So, the small socket, right, this, the small um, hole here in the outlets is always going to be what's called your hot side. Um, it really doesn't actually matter because it's alternating current, so it's always going one way or the other. But just for consistency, I always like to put the, the black uh, lead in, into that small, the small slit. So I hold them with one hand like this. Make sure that they don't touch or anything while they're going in. And test it. Try to keep them in the center as well. And this guy's getting, it'll move a little bit, but I mean, if it's in the point one, it's basically zero. Just make sure it sits, it sits at zero when you're testing it. So we're good to go on this outlet. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is go and find uh, your kitchen GFI right there so it'd be right here and here when, and this is my screwdriver I think we stole it from a guy named Kirby I'm not sure so uh, so what you know you're not gonna want to take this, this screwdriver and put it into the box so don't go and do that that would be dumb so just to give you guys a heads up but we're gonna turn it off with our finger so just to put this in terms of a simple man a simple uh, electrical outlet do not use anything like that just use your finger and turn it off also, make sure that your pins are all the way in the outlet. That one that I was showing earlier, it was just for show, kind of. So they weren't, it wasn't fully uh, testing. So you notice these are all the way inserted. So just make sure that they are like that. You're going to want to use your flat rate, flat, not your flat rate, but your uh, flat head screwdriver because we're not paying for it flat rate. But you're going to uh, take the glass plate, or not, some of you might have glass plates, but the face plate off. So take it like here. Um, only got one screw in there. Looks like we got one screw in there. Cheap builder, I guess. <laughs> yep. So you're also going to want to take uh, that part off as well. Do not do this with the power on. Again, do not do this with the power on. You could get greased or zapped. Test it and retest it. Test, test, test. We always test. Oh yeah, and on that testing, test it on a good outlet to make sure that you know that the, the meter works as well. Again, repeat on, power off. Okay, I can see that everything here is wired up properly. I've checked all the connections. I've kind of like tugged on them. It's kind of interesting how it's wired up, but everyone kind of does their stuff differently. Um, all, everything's solid on here. The wiring's good. So this thing looks sketchy though. It looks like it's like at least 10 years old. These things, they do go bad. They're actually rated for so much 
so much time they do expire. So I'm just guessing it's a bad outlet. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out and try it. Okay, so we went out and picked up a GFCI outlet because we're going to go replace it. This brand is called Levitron Protection. Don't care, it doesn't matter if you get Levitron, uh, Megatron, Electricon, whatever you get. Another thing to realize on these is that there is a what's called a line and a load. Your line is your incoming for your electrical from the outlet, and your load is coming from that outlet to all the other outlets downstream from it. So this sticker right here is covering the load. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that I just match that up with the old outlet. Make sure that you match things up. Another thing to realize on these is that there is a, what's called a line and a load. Your line is your incoming for your electrical from the outlet, and your load is coming from that outlet to all the other outlets downstream from it. So this sticker right here is covering the load. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that I just match that up with the old outlet. Make sure that you match things up. All right, so another thing is, is Obviously, there you have your, your hot and your neutral. Hot's black, neutral is white. Um, one way to always know which wire goes on what is your hot wire always goes on the, the, the brass colored uh, terminal. So just always remember that. Silver one goes to white, the brass one goes to black. Make sure it's tight. Tighten it in good. Make sure it's centered. And if we're doing, never mind. I shouldn't plug other channels. I'm just nice, too nice to people. Just gonna make sure this is centered and nice and good. If it's not, you're gonna have to redo it again. And that's me with the goofy voice. Or you could use a drill. Or you could use a drill. Strip it out. But you don't have drill. Well, I've got a drill. And if you want, you could see Jane drill. Her channel's pretty good too. <laughs> you like that plug? I plug everybody. That's nice and tight. Nice! Nice. Now put on the uh, faceplate. Alright, so now we're gonna take the faceplate and we're gonna put it on like so. Match it up. Match it up good. You wanna put your little screwies right in? See that? You gotta have a little entertainment with this, you or just your board. See, anybody can do this. Not anybody, but you don't want to electrocute yourself. Looks like Skippy got some yellow stuff on there, or paint. I think that was from the last people that had this place. This joint was green, purple, you name it. They had some wild colors in here. It's still under construction right now. Also make sure to use a 15 amp instead of a 20 amp like we're using. Uh, we're just doing this temporarily. We're probably gonna replace the screw just, a little, just, just an FYI, you know. Yeah. Just cause we don't like a yellow one, we're just showing you. So, we have a green light. Now, that's a good sign, green light's always good. We're gonna try to test the blender to see if the blender works. Just kidding. It works great. And it looks like we got some frost top root beer along the way with the trip. So make sure you pick some this of this up. Good. Uh, it was pretty good. What's it got in there? High fructose? Whatever it's no got. Caffeine. If you're looking for uh, a drink that's not good for you as far as don't be looking at soft drinks, okay? Anyways, going back to this, we're going to plug this guy in and see if it works. It was not working before, if you remember. Not working before. Neither was that. Let's try it. Yeah! Let's check the other outlet. Holmes. Uh oh, we got one more. This one was not working before. I am not going to plug in the KitchenAid because I do not want to get myself chopped up. Losing a finger is not always good. You have fixed the GFI. You have just saved another dime in this horrible economy. So please. Go, if you want to go back and review the steps, check out what you did. Like and subscribe. Go like every one of our pages. Please support us. Donate to the channel if you want. So help us get better equipment as well. Leave a comment below. Put a comment below. But your best thing you could Sounds do right. is like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for don't, watching. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now!